Hi, Dr. Smirkanich. Um, tell me about RSCI 506. So we're very excited to introduce a new course into the regulatory science program this fall. Um, the course is on auditing principles um, and really we're looking to um, add another skill set to our graduate students uh, who are coming out of our program both at the master's and the doctorate level. Okay, um, tell me a little bit more about the, the subject. What's, what does that mean, auditing? So. Um, the, the regulatory authorities, the FDA as well as those all over the world, really use their inspection process in order to guarantee the quality of the products that are being developed, how the products are being developed, um, uh, both in the laboratory and in the clinic. And so we're really looking to um, uh, acquaint our students with those fundamental principles that go into both the regulatory authorities' inspections but as well as what processes internally companies are using to make sure that they're in compliance with all those regulations. Okay, and so who is this course for? Who, who, who should take this course? Um, really, anyone who is um, uh, interested in breaking into the field, because being an auditor or an inspector is a really great way to break into the field. It's the way I broke into it, that's for sure. Um, and any of our uh, students are going to have responsibility for any of the quality assurance and regulatory areas, because that's where the, um, the preparation comes in. Okay. And how, how is this course taught? What's the approach? So we're taking a very different approach with this class. Um, it's a three credit class, but we will be uh, conducting it over the course of five days. We're bookending it on the first and the fifth day with some general um, principles around not only how audits are conducted, but also with some of the tools that are utilized. Um, templates, checklists, um, process diagrams, um, those kinds of things. Then the middle three days, are each dedicated to one of the specific inspection and auditing procedures. So there'll be a day on good laboratory practices, a day on good manufacturing practices, and a day on good clinical practices. And as an alternative to taking the entire three credit, three credit class, students may elect to take it as a one credit class utilizing day one and then one of the other GXP dates. So we're, we're really trying to, again, see this as a very um, a good skill set builder and so you can focus on that area that you may already know that you're interested in or you could take the whole class and really decide which one you might be interested in or all of them because um, they certainly um, uh, this is an area that the industry is outsourcing a lot and so there's a lot of people who are doing this either as independent consultants or through organizations that provide these services. Well, that's great. Wow, so is there anything else you'd like to to say about the class? Well, I think one of the other things that we're doing um, in the class that I think will be interesting to the students is that at each of the, um, the GLP, GMP, and GCP days, the class for the day will conclude with an activity that will be a workshop with other participants in the class. The deliverable from that will be um, a checklist and an audit plan for that particular kind of uh, inspection and audit. And so I think that will give the students who, are, who come through the class some Something very concrete that they can either show to potential employers or save as reference for a future, uh, you know, as a future job aid. So we're pretty excited and we're hoping that uh, a lot of people will sign up um, and uh, participate in the class because it really is a wonderful um, uh, skill to be able to fall back on. Fantastic. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>